What's up, everybody? I am BK, BKBangers.com, coming to you live from the zone with another Music Millionaires exclusive. Right. So today, we're doing a video on game staging and what are the reasons for game staging. What are some of the reasons for game staging? I'm going to touch on that and I'm going to basically show you how to set up and route your your tools within studio one to to gain stage all right so let's get right to it in this track right here turn down your headphones because it's kind of loud all right i have a track that i was working on and i'm at the point now that i need to you know adjust the volume which is game staging all right so i'm gonna play it for you and you'll see that it's kind of loud turned it down so you guys might not be hearing it turn off the click track the drums are peaking at around plus 2 dBs alright so if I take off this It doesn't work because I got this on. So it's hitting at plus four dBs, which we don't want that. So the quick way how to get out of such a situation would be to set up your uh, your gain stage. Now within Studio One, there is a tool called Mix Tool, and we use this as a volume knob fader if you will to adjust the sound of the instrument the volume of the instrument so that it doesn't clip there's also another way that you could adjust the volume and that's to right here this little square right here when you touch it you can adjust and that's also a form of gain staging but we're gonna utilize the mix tool all right so when you when you put the mix tool on any um, channel strip there's no set rule of the volume that you put, but I like to start around negative six, negative five, through negative seven. And then when, once you have it on one track, you simply highlight the rest of the tracks and then you drag and drop. That simple. And now, if you pay attention to right here, you'll see that when I press play, it'll no longer be on clipping. Well, it is clipping, but it's clipping. It's not clipping. 
clipping as much. All right, let me back out of this. Now, if you pay attention to this drum track right here, I'm gonna take off the inserts. Now that's, that's a huge difference of sound. And it's as simple as that, man. So you wanna start off your tracks with um, having the the mix tool placed on your tracks and that is a form of game staging and then you simply do the fine adjustments as you go along the track all right so the reasons why we use the game staging is for mixing purposes okay you want to have your your volume at a set you can make the fine-tune adjustments as needed and what we'll do is we'll also highlight all the tracks Bring them down to zero um, or still on the, the master pardon me we'll highlight all the tracks set them to zero and then make the adjustments as you go and then after you do that you can then set the mix tool to be whatever you set it as i'm gonna show you that real quick i should have did this first but i'm gonna do it now all right so let's press play Start off with the samples, take this limit off. As I'm making these adjustments to the fader the faders I am paying attention to the master output the peak of the master output so I have a, um, a rule of thumb basically for me I don't want anything I don't want the master or the main channel to peak above um, negative six so i'm paying attention to that as i bring up the faders so i know how to to gain stage from there if you if you're following along all right Right now I'm speaking at like around 798 and that's just with two two um sounds the sample and this percussive sound so I'm gonna continue to make adjustments and then get back to the um to the mix tool all right it's your boy BK bkbangers.com
so I basically got everything um, at a decent level. So the next thing I'll do now is I'll solo out the um, the drums and see where it's peaking at and then make some more minor adjustments from there. Because again, as a rule of thumb, we don't want the main output to be peaking more than negative six roughly you know it could fluctuate between six and five fifty but we don't want to go really over six just as a you know a pro tip the snare doesn't have to be the loudest but more than likely in hip-hop rap track the snare is is gonna be the most predominant um, sound that you'll hear. You, the, stair, the snare will stand out the most. That and the hi hats will stand out the most, and everything else, you know, just complements it. So right now is jumping to negative four. Jumping to negative four. I'm not quite sure why it's doing that. Let me see. Alright, so what we'll do now. We'll go back to the mix tool and we will set the mix tool roughly to where it's at right now. So on this natural percussive um, track, the fader is set to negative 10. So we'll set it at negative 10. We will drag and drop. This one is negative 9.7. So what I'm doing here now is that I'm adding the mix tool and I am setting the mix tool to what the fader is and then I'm going to bring it back all the fader back to unity across all the tracks and then make the adjustments within the mix tool and that is the process that I use to gain stage all right so and again these are not um there's no set rules you can do whatever you um feel is necessary for your track classic snare 10.3 you can do whatever you feel is necessary for your track this is just um, behind the scenes look at what a lot of uh, producers use producers and engineers use within the studio uh, to make their jobs more easier um, negative nine points so let's listen to it now now it's going to be even lower i bet i know <laughs> see now it's at negative 14. it peaks at negative 14 which is not bad we could we got a lot of headroom to you know to maximize on but what we'll do now is click and highlight the first track, I hold shift and click the last track to highlight everything. Then I will hold down command. If you're on a PC, it's command. And on a, I mean, if you're on a Mac, it's command. If you're on a, um, a PC, I believe it's control. And then you click. And then that brings everything back up to unity. See, so now it's P. 
peaking at uh, negative 4.74. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna make adjustments to all the, uh, the instruments. So at this point, it's basically still peaking up at uh, around negative four point something, and I'm not quite sure why it's doing that. I think there's like a glitch in Studio One right now for some reason. My um my system has been glitching out for the last couple of days. Um, I'm pretty sure by using my ears. Always use your ears. That's one of your your um as a artist, producer, engineer, whether you be a mixing engineer, a mastering engineer, once you're dealing with any form of audio as a profession, your most valuable tool is your ears, okay? <laughs> your ears are your most valuable tools, so always use your tools, it's good to, um, to check you know visually the numbers what comes come across the numbers and by seeing it and hearing it you put it both together and you make the best of it so like i know for sure all of these mix tools are well below negative 10 if i'm still getting it at peaking at negative 590 so I want everything to peak at negative negative 6 right so that's like 10 dBs so what I'll do is I'll come back here and I will it's basically the sample track that's making everything peak but for the sake of the video I will bring down everything right here I was gonna say by negative 10 but I think negative 10 would be too much I bring it down about 3.4 dBs now let's go back to the mix so channel and I'll press play So it's peaking at negative 10. I'm gonna go back over here. So I pretty much got it peaking at around negative 698 around there. So what I'll do is now at this point, if I really want to be a stickler and get it to be on negative six, I'll go back into the mix tools, you know, boost them up individually until I get the main output to be at negative six again these are just these are my um terms and my standards generally if you don't do any mixing yourself and you send out your stuff to a mixing engineer or a mastering engineer they will ask you to keep the head keep at least six dbs of headroom and some would say, if you can't get, keep it at six, at least give me um, 
3 dBs of space before it hits the zero, the ceiling. So basically keep everything under at negative 3 dB and that will be the master fader. So you want to make sure everything is at unity when you're doing this. Check that again. Alright man, I'll be here forever just uh, making these fine adjustments and as you can see there's no limiter on, on the, um, the main channel and I got it at a decent volume. I'm not sh too sure how loud that is for you guys when you guys hear it but it's pretty much um, I've done all the basic gain staging treatments and I will then again go through it and make more adjustments as I go along and you know add the limiters and all the you know the accru accruciments as we call them to spice up the track now again you want to start your game staging before you do any you know you add any EQs or limiters compressors any saturation distortion you want to make sure your your volume is at a decent palatable for your ears <laughs> you want to make sure you can hear it clean because any other effects that you add nine out of ten times within those effects you're boosting the volume as you add and everything you you add is a com compounded effect and it just increases on the volume as you go all right so as a recap you want to add the mix tool to each instrument each sound you know adjust the knob as a rule of thumb, you can start at negative six, negative five. If you open up here and you go to the um, the presets, you see here it has different presets, and you can save your own presets as well. Or if an artist, if you have an artist and you know at a set, say negative twelve, is a you always find yourself turning the mix tool to negative 12 to get their vocals to sit on the track within the track perfect nothing's perfect but you know if you get it to sit there perfectly you can set that um store that preset as artist b that's their preset within the mix tool and you know it basically saves your time save you time that's what we that's the form of um, what we doing when we when we do game staging is to save us time that's the form of the template I, I pulled posted up a video about um, creating a template a couple videos ago so yeah that's pretty much it man that's my time thank you so much for your viewership if you haven't already subscribe Please do subscribe now. Be sure to hit that like, comment, let us know what you feel, and be sure to hit that liberty bell so you'll be notified whenever we post up any new content on the channel. This is BK, BK Banger, BKBangers.com. This is yet again another Music Millionaires exclusive. All right, do remember that music is life. It is your DNA. Keep banging. Peace, love, and light. Till next time.